What's up guys? It's Chief here from Chief Live Gaming today talking to you about speed painting. This is a technique I like to use or just a way of thought that I like to apply to any miniature painting. You know, it's it's I'm showing you a Warhammer 40k model here. This is an Orc War Boss, but you can apply this to, you know, D&D miniatures. You can apply it to War Machine to uh, you know, Age of Sigmar, whatever miniatures you're painting, this technique is going to work, but it's more effective and more helpful when you're painting like a ton of infantry, something like 40k where you need to paint a hundred orcs or, you know, 50 cultists and you want them to all look pretty similar and they're all infantry. So you need a technique to make this fast. So I like to think about steps when I'm painting models. So if you think about main colors that are on this Orc War Boss, this is going to be, you apply this technique to any model. So you think like, okay, there's going to be like maybe three or four main colors on this model. And the main colors of this model would be like the skin here, the skin of the Orc, the green skin, the leather, like a brown leather color for most of the cloth that he's wearing, and then a metal or metallic color for the power claw here, the gun, and uh, just bits, various bits of metal around on his body. So three main colors, right? Pretty simple. And um, so each each color that we'd have to paint would be a step in the process. So say we're thinking about 100 orcs, painting the skin each on each orc. So say it takes you three minutes to paint the skin. Multiply that times 100, that's 300 minutes you're painting orc skin. That is a lot of time. And for those of us that don't have the time or the patience, we were looking for an alternative. So. Any way to save time, any way to take out even one step can save us a ton of time. And that's what I'm after here. So the way I like to do this is thinking about primer color. So this is going to vary depending on the, uh, the colors, like I said, the main colors that you're going to need. And, uh, conventionally you might think about painting something like priming something black or white, like here, this is obviously prime black. And so you're going to have to base coat those three main colors. You know, you're going to want to highlight, you're going to want to wash, you're going to want to dry brush, something like that to get some detail. Those are a lot of steps. So we're going to look out, look to cut out some of those steps. Now, I'm going to real quick show you a different primer color. Now, this is obviously a different model. And this primer color is, as you can see, like a tan or a brown. Now, the reason I chose this you'll see in a second. Now, this is just spray primer out of the can from your hardware store, which was $2. And, uh, you know, you can prime your model, whatever color you like. And then I'm going to show you what to do just to very quickly take care of some of those steps. So I've primed, I'm going to show you another war boss I'm working on, and he was primed in the same color. So you can see here, you know, this was the tan color. Now, as you see here, we've got the skin, We've got the brown cloth leathery stuff. We've got the claw work down here. And I, I left some of this unfinished so I could show you what I'm talking about. The way that I did this, this stage took less than five minutes to get here on this model. Very simply, we're priming and then we're using different layer paints, washes, or inks uh, to, to tint. I like to think of it as tinting your primer or base coated color to the desired finished effect that you want. So to get the skin, I'm gonna put him back here so he's easier to see. To get the skin, what I did, gotta find it, there it is. A green toned ink or shade. Now you can use this, a Citadel brand would be something like this. You get the idea, just a green ink wash shade over this tan and this is what you get, right? Very decent effect, very, very fast. You're painting with a wash or an ink. You're not painting with, uh, you know, your, your standard acrylic. It's a very thin, easy to brush on, fast drying, fast applying paint technique. And again, same thing with this armor. I just took a brown, where is it here? Okay, no. There it is, a brown ink. I think the Citadel is Delvin Mud. It's just a brown ink. They call it Strong Tone for 
war paints. Over the primer color, and you get this brown, this nice leathery looking effect. Now, you can do multiple layers, if you'd like, to darken it. And uh, you can also use a black wash to get another effect. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to paint the metallics and the details. So things like the eyes, the, ear, the, uh, the teeth, you know, this little lightning bolt hit with a yellow or something. Some things, there's, you're gonna have to do some black work, but you've just saved yourself quite a few steps. If you think about the steps again, the skin, all it is is a wash over the primer. It's already shaded for you. You know, you could look at it as already being highlighted. You know, again, it's not great, but if you're looking at it from this far away, you know what, that's just fine for me. So tabletop standard is what I like to, to think about. And very, again, doing that skin one step, you know, maybe two to three minutes. Turned out pretty good. So I wanted to show you guys that. And depending on what you're doing, you're gonna to wanna to choose a little different primer color. This is just an example for orcs. And if you guys want, I can go ahead and put up different examples for you for different um, like color schemes or, or overall styles for models. But when you're doing something like an army of orcs, something like this, cutting out one step, cutting out two steps. I don't know how many steps we've saved here. Like, you know, you'd have to, you'd have to base coat. So you'd have to base coat the skin and the armor or the cloth, so that's two steps. And I'd have to wash it anyway to get some shading done. That's two more steps, we're already at four steps. And then I, I don't know, maybe you'd highlight or dry brush if desired. So a minimum of four steps saved to get to this level or close to this level. All right, that's really all I wanted to say, guys. Let me know what you think. Maybe a lot of you guys are already thinking in this way, applying this kind of a technique to your painting. Let me know if you haven't and you start trying it, you like it a lot. Let me know if you hate it. Just let me know. I like to hear thoughts. Uh, if you guys want to check me out looking to support the channel at all, I do have a Patreon account. I also have an eBay and Etsy store if you're looking to you know, buy something, that'd be cool. No pressure there. Any support is appreciated. Some just tell a couple friends about this video of my channel. That's probably the best thing you can do for me. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. All right, bye now.